I'm Steven from Patchworks, and today in front of me on the table, I've got the new Noise Engineering Vert Eider Legio. This is Noise Engineering's latest uh, digital oscillator in a very small, compact 6 HP package. It comes with three different algorithms on here. You have the Harm, Saw X, and Bass. And these names might look actually kind of familiar um, because I believe uh, at least the Saw X and the Harm are similar to the ones that come on the Arturia Micro Freak. So let's explore the top panel really quick. So at the very top here, we've got our tuning knob. Uh, it's gonna be fine tuning and then coarse tuning if you push it in and turn. Right below that, you have the knob for flavor and then tang. Then next to that, you have two switches. The switch on the left lets you switch between the three different algorithms. And the switch on the right gives you uh, two different flavors of chorus. So at zero, it's no chorus at one, that's a light chorus. At two, that's like full-blown chorus, let's go. Below that, you have your patch bay. So we have a sync input, got CV input for tang, CV input for flavor, uh, one volt per octave for pitch. Then you have two inputs for phase modulation too because this is actually a stereo oscillator. So you have a left and a right output that you can phase mod separately, which is actually really cool. All right, so let's explore the three different algorithms on this oscillator starting with the harm algorithm. Harm is an additive uh, synth algorithm. It has a slight distortion stage. And so flavor, when in harm mode, flavor will sweep through the different partials. And tang is kind of like a wave folder. It's got a slight different flavor to it, but it's essentially is pretty much a wave folder. And so let's check out what it sounds like. So you can hear that sweeping through those partials. In the middle here, it's gonna hit an octave. And if we keep pushing it, it'll eventually hit a second octave. Or not even a second octave, it's just really high, way up there. And then Tang here is going to add some wave folding, and you can see that visualized on the data. But as you can see, it's not fully wave folding, and you just heard that little bit of a crunch there at the end. That's because when you push the Tang parameter towards maximum, it starts to add in a phase modulated noise, which is mixed into the signal. They're just creeping in. That's really cool. Let's see what it sounds like with some uh, chorus applied. So let's just use the first stage of chorus. You can already hear the stereo width just kind of widened up. And you can also see on the data, both uh, the left is now acting differently than the right output. And let's try going full chorus. Let's go to chorus two. So moving on, we're going to check out the Saw X algorithm. So Saw X is a Super Saw oscillator. Uh, the flavor knob will give you that classic Super Saw sound. 
and then Tang will give you some uh, phase modulation. As you can tell with Tang, when I really pushed it to maximum, got a little bit uh, noisy there. And that's because when you go all the way almost to the to the max, it starts adding in phase modulation that is uh, subsampled with noise. So moving on to the third and final algorithm of this oscillator, we've got bass. Uh, it's not named bass because it can produce bass tones, although it totally can, but it's actually named bass because of the person who created this algorithm. Uh, the name was also bass. So I can't necessarily describe to you what exactly this algorithm is doing because it kind of goes a little over my head. But just reading off their manual, um, flavor here controls the saturation going to the cosine oscillator. And Tang here is a two-stage asymmetric wave folder. And this mode is capable of quite a wide variety of timbres. So let's just give it a listen. Sounds wild. Let's add some uh, chorus into it. Ooh. Maybe send an LFO into Tang. Get that modulated. That's with the chorus too. So that was wild. That was probably actually my favorite algorithm so far out of the three. So let's see what happens. Let's go back to saw X and let's try sending some CV into this thing. So the first thing I really want to try is to give it some phase modulation. And we just so happen here to have a beehive, which is just a mutable plats clone. So I'm just going to send the output of that to phase mod the oscillator. <laughs> Right off the bat, it's super gnarly.
let's change up the algorithm and see where that gets us. It sounds wild. But you know, the sound actually kind of reminds me of uh, Hypnotoad. This is with the base algorithm being phase modulated. So we've explored pretty much the entirety of this new noise engineering oscillator, the Vert Eider Legio. I'm Steven from Patchworks. Uh, come to the shop, come play around with this module. We have it out on the floor. See you next time.